Hey guys. job interview in a couple of hours but I'm too nervous I can't sleep so I figured I'd do a little bit of a update slash info what's going on um, I've got this Necron Lord I've got to fix classic old school dreadnought here you go guys classic original Space Hulk style uh, dreadnought. This is what dreadnoughts used to look like before they became the boxy things that you know of today. Um, and so, what I want to know is if this is the class design of dreadnoughts, why don't they have these in Warhammer 30,000? Come on, Games Workshop. Uh, this is a file that I purchased from a guy. Um, most of these files that you can see here. Are either purchased or, or are available on my website. Uh, I was I've got to update my website. My website's not been updated in since 2019, since the first pandemic. So it's it needs to be updated. Uh, so I've got some models here that that broke. Ironically, this guy is a little bit loose, so he's got to be re-glued to his base. Uh, and his wings have to be reattached and my phone just orgasmed at me fair enough so that's that it's another model that's got to be uh, fixed up we've got um, a uh, renegade ogren to go with his friend over here i've got a third one i've got a print up as well as well as some bases i've got a print and uh so yeah, we're going to be doing some Renegade Guardsmen as well, some Renegade uh, Chaos, uh, Renegade Guardsmen for my um, Kill Team. Uh, I'm getting more back into Kill Team more than anything else um, for some reason. I, I just I don't know why, but for some reason Kill Team just seems to be doing it for me. Uh, but before I can do anything, this table needs to be cleaned. It is an absolute bloody pigsty of a mess and I'm not having that plus I've got to take these two paints these are air paints uh, yo GW these are your air paints yeah and yes I do still buy paints from Games Workshop I know I'm paying out the arse for them I can get them cheaper on you know buy a, a generic paint from like um, toothing coats or whatever in fact speaking of um, I absolutely love um, Duncan Rhodes' website um, I've been a just paying subscriber to his website now for about two years um, and it's money well spent it's like three pounds 99 a month uh, you get access to all of his videos I mean every single one of them backlog catalog you name it a forum um, the only thing he doesn't have I don't think he's got a discord um, but I don't blame him because that's a lot of work I've got a discord of my own both for the 40k uh, for the um, uh, Twitch streaming stuff as well as my painting one that I'm trying to get up off the ground So what I'm going to do is because I know this is uh, resin um, You've got to cut it with isopropyl alcohol. So I've got to clear off an area uh, I'm going to be needing you here in a few minutes uh, Same as the cleaner and the thinner because I'm going to be airbrushing um, All of my roommates are currently uh, either in bed or at work, so I'm going to be a little bit quiet. Well, quieter than I am. Yeah, this brush is knackered. Yeah, I've got to clip that to remind myself that that brush is knackered. Can't use it. Right, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear off some space here and um, spray it down and give it a scrape clean. <sighs> I just love it when blue tack doesn't stick to what you want it to, but it sticks to something you don't want it to. This is why I don't understand why people keep using blue tack. Uh, or post attack, or whatever the feck you want to call it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just quick spritz. This is just IPA, just isopropyl alcohol. 
so it will evaporate if I don't scrape with it or whatever. And I'm just going to use a simple metallic scraper to get any off. But uh, FYI, if you want to know roughly what 90% IPA smells like, and you're from the UK or Europe, when you were a kid, and there was an outbreak of like nits or fleas or whatever in your school and your mum or your nan or whoever would literally dunk your head with fleek with like nit killer it's actually IPA that they're using isopropyl alcohol yes this is a big jug that is what she said this is literally Premium medical grade, 99.9% .9 isopropyl alcohol. This is literally 100% isopropyl alcohol. And the reason why you should use IPA on insectoids, which is fleas, uh, nits, bed bugs, um, things of that nature, is because the IPA actually uh, dries them out. It's a dehydrating. If you don't know what dehydrating means, is it will literally suck all the moisture out of whatever it is it's touching this is why it cuts down and breaks down things like carbon alcohol uh, um resin sorry now i'm just using the scraper and i'm not putting i mean the blade's not like bending you know oh sorry the blade's not like super bending i'm i'm literally putting like Ne little next to no pressure because I'm not looking to gouge my table I'm just looking see if you make something a little bit stubborn you just go at it with a little bit of speed pop, pop it comes. Uh, IPA will if you buy the stuff called Goo Gone Goo Gone is just a gelatin IPA what that means is some Mad Genius has decided to take uh, isopropyl alcohol and add uh, gelatin to it, basically, to make it thicker. And so that's why Goo Gone is often used by modelers not realizing that all they're using is isopropyl alcohol. Uh, IPA is, a lot of people say, oh, it's toxic. Uh, no. It, Yes and no. Um, what I mean by that is, um, no, it's not really that toxic. Um, it can be if it's mixed in properly or used improperly. Anything can be toxic. You can technically, um, <laughs> you can technically technically die through drinking too much water. Not drowning. Drowning is the ability of getting water in your lungs. Okay, that's drowning. But you can actually overdose on water by drinking too much water you can actually die um so it, 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 by that right it's technically uh you know the the, the um there should be warning labels on everything from drinking water to to pretty much anything and then that would make it you know that would make it comifolia yes i call it commie formula not california because well only commies live in california just saying um so what we're going to do is uh, take stock of what projects we've got, uh, what projects we need to do. Now I'm going to keep my little toolbox, do the little blue Peter thing and keep it down there. I do have, ah, that's what it is, I'm missing a head. One of the heads uh, went flying somewhere. I'll find it probably with my foot in the middle of the night, but we've got these heads still that I'm going to be doing for the... Um, painting tutorial I'm so used uh, these cameras got swapped around and I'm so used to hi I'm so used to this camera that I'm looking at being the close-up camera which is why I'm bringing the models here not over there uh, so give me a second guys so I can I've got to turn this ring light off because it gets too hot and cooks me but there we go um, you know, yeah, that's actually quite better. Uh, so what I'm going to do is uh, take these heads that are all set up 
to be uh, now I used the army paint of speed paints uh, skin set on these and the base skin sets aren't that bad I can actually use these for some of my uh, uh, Black Legion um, if you guys don't know um, I'm currently working on a Death Guard army and a Black Legion army um, the reason why I'm working on both is because well I I want to work on both and the Death Guard have always been one of my favorite Chaos uh, uh, armies and the Black Legion's always been my second uh, next to um, the, Cult of Mal uh, the Cult of Malice or the Cult of Malavictus as I call it which is my own chapter which is an offshoot of the Cult of, uh, which is an offshoot of the Cult of Malice which is an actual uh, 40k Chaos chapter uh, the Cult of Malavictus uh, are uh, basically the cult, cult of Malice but more psychers so take uh, chaos undivided thousand suns pretty much without the uh, all his dust rules so that's the cult of malavictus uh, now i do have to grab my super glue which is on the other table because no one's invented a thinning thin glue to work with resin prints yet that i know of um so here we go I use Loctite super glue, not sponsored. And so we're going to go to our Necron Lord here. Who. Of course, you did, didn't you? You clogged up on me. This is the problem with these little fancy fucking tops, they always clog up on you. Uh, where'd you go? I've got. Got a specific drill bit that's designed to not clog, to, to unclog. And of course, I am actually out of coffee. What the hell? Oh, I'm going to be a zombie for this job interview. Uh, but it's fine. So I figured I would get some content out of the way. Uh, I do apologize for the microphone level. I've got to get a better microphone for this rig. Um, I was going to get one on Black Friday, but. As always, I am skint. Right, so, okay. Not them all. Right, so there's that. Now normally I would use a pair of tweezers, but again, all my tweezers are in fact, you know what? Uh, yes, there's tweezers in here. Oh, what fun. Straight edge and curved tip, and I'll leave it. And I'll just get it all out. There we go. I won't get the, the blades out yet because I don't need to touch it just yet. But I'm going to use these tweezers. See, I'm, I'm all professional here using tweezers and shit. What the hell? Yeah, tweezers and shit. And so, this is my Necron Lord. For a Necron army, I'm wanting to start. I've got an idea for a Necron army. I've been playing a game called Mechanic. Did it dry up on me? Yeah, it did. I've been playing a game called Mechanicus on the PC, and you are obviously the Mechanicus, the Adaptus Mechanicus. You're playing the Mechanicus, and you're taking on the Necrons. And um, I've also got uh, a Necron, a couple of Necron audiobooks, and they're actually pretty good. Um, right now, I'm listening to a series. There we go. And so, as you can see, our Necron Lord is going to look fucking like they're really badass. So I'm going to let them dry. Uh, our current uh, Owen Rommel burst uh, looks like so. So, not too shabby. Not too shabby. When he's finished, he and, and he's all glazed up and everything else and, and, and clear coated and whatnot, he will be going up on eBay. Again, all proceeds will be going to raise money. Um, for a little girl in um, 
and the States. A friend of mine, she's having a bit of a hard time. And uh, her, her daughter's, it's her daughter's first Christmas. So I want to get her some nice presents and stuff. So then my phone just orgasmed at me again. And so I want to uh, get her something nice for Christmas. So we're going to leave the, the standards and we'll put out for the same as the numbers because we don't need those just yet. Um, so we're going to let him dry up. And so what I want to talk to you about is some other projects I'm doing. And of course my other camera just froze on me. Where did I put that mouse? There it is. Why did you freeze on me? No, that's not. Okay. That was bloody weird. The camera just stopped working. So we're back. Anyway. Um, what was I saying? Um, projects on the table. There we go. Um, I've got this uh, Def Corp Krieg, um 3D prints here. Um, that I've, I've even got a Commissar with a Power Fist. Um, that I'm going to be turning into a kill team. Um, because I, 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 the way a friend of mine explained kill team to me, uh, he explained it as in it is like old school Mordheim, but 40k setting. So I'm like, ooh. Because he knows I'm a huge Mordheim fan. I loved Mordheim. Um, it was one of my go to favourite. Uh, game systems to play at my local gaming club um, in London. Uh, mostly because you could, you could just raid the Warhammer Fantasy miniatures range and just make a custom warband and it would be cherry. Um, at one point I had an Ogren. There, there was rules that later came out before Games Workshop let's killed the IP, which I'm sorry, but they should bring that back as like a free thing for like the Warhammer Plus community, like updated rules for game systems that they no longer officially support. So like Mordheim, Inquisitor, stuff like that. Because the Inquisitor game system was absolutely amazing. I loved the models. I actually had every single Inquisitor, like seven, like 54 mil model, and they were all pewter. They were all a pain in the ass to paint and put together. They like the Eisenhorn and the, the Death Guard Captain, um, not Death Guard, the um, Kill Team Captain, um, and then you had the um, Sisters of Battle Assassin wearing the cat suit, and then the Cyber Hound, and yeah, it, oh, 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 and then the Chaos, Chaos Psyker. Oh my god, I loved that game system. Um, I would love for them to bring that more dime and a hot, maybe even like bring back like 4th edition, 5th edition. Uh, 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 kind of things for, for gamers if they want to play a couple of retro games you know like take the towel but make like fourth edition rules for them you know like retro actively so that players that have bought the codexes you know even if the even the older codexes you know or, or, or release the older codexes uh, as PDFs for free um, so then that way players can actually like like get the codexes read them, enjoy them, and, and see how uh, uh, the armies have progressed through the years, like Space Marines, uh, uh, Orcs, Eldar, sorry, El Eldari, Drukari, Dark Elf, whatever the hell, you, you get what I'm saying? Like, retroactively go through, and then just, like, bring them up, and in that way players can actually go back, look at the lore, read the books, because I, I love reading the books, I've got tons of audiobooks on my phone, my phone is actually on charge because like I said I've been like like just power grind hogging this one series of books about uh, inquisitors on 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 earth uh, the Kerrigan throne or series or something where custodies get involved and there's dark Eldar uh, 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 in, uh, on earth and I'm like how the hell did they get on earth without freaking you know I I hello and then um, they, they've cloned the Emperor's throne and got a clo and got some of the Emperor's DNA. They've gotten that close that they can snip the motherfucker's hair and clone him. 
I'm sorry, but whoever's head of the custodies pff, needs to fucking go. Anyway, good story art. Got to watch it. Oh, got to listen to it. Got to read it. Really good stories. Um, anyway, where was it? Anyway, so I've got a um, kill team here on the table. Small kill team, anyway. Um, so I'll be painting those up here soon as well. Look forward to seeing that. We've done a little bit more progress on our one of our demons right here. Um, we've done a lot more work on the shoulder pad um, and on the axes. Of course, you can see all the blood and guts and viscera and and, and whatnot and stuff. And we've painted the hooves, the horns, um, a whole bunch of other stuff. I'm going to go over it with some yellows, probably some sun yellow maybe a little bit of moon yellow um and some high highlights and whatnot uh, maybe even a, a couple of human flesh tones actually and uh pick out some of the flesh highlights uh, maybe even go with a little bit of like off pink or off white just to get those highlights to pop a little bit but a bit more we'll finish up on the face uh the skulls the tabards things of that nature and then we'll start work on the actual base itself and then we will call this greater demon done. Now, a lot of people keep asking me, it's not technically a greater demon if it doesn't have wings. Now, uh, I'm here to tell you that that is bullshit. Okay? Now, I'm even going to do the whole, uh, actually. Uh, no. Uh, greater demons can and cannot have wings. They, they, they don't have to have wings. Case in point, Scarbrand. Scarbrand has remnants of wings, but he still cannot fly. Um, now, when I was playing, the Tau had just come into the game system. So that's telling you, I'm, I'm dating myself a little bit here. Um, and demons, demon princes, I'm not sure if that's 4th, 5th or 6th edition. Anyway, um, had an ability called Fly High. And what that was, and I'll, I'll explain it to you through, through, through some miniatures here. You got some guardsmen, you know, with a commissar going, for the Emperor! You know, and your bloodthirsters right here he's down to like one wound and you know that that plasma gun you know is is gonna be do gonna finish it my oh buddy you know we'll put a, here you go you got a dreadnought with him too yeah and you know even that's a cow strip not be on this side but point is you know that it it would kill him if he had wings i.e if there was wings on him you know like this Okay, he could do the ability called fly high, which means during his movement phase, you take him off the table, okay, and you would put like a dice or something to represent where his last known position was, okay. So, case in point, if I wanted to fly high, okay, I would say, okay, and they'll be like, where's your blood first? He's up in the sky. Well, he's got wings, he's flying. So that means that the guardsmen cannot shoot at him during their shooting phase. Because he's no longer there. Stop it. Camera's freaking out. Yeah, I've got to get a new webcam. A new Logitech C9. The C920s are the best cameras in the world to get. Oh, they're the best. Um, I've had this one going on almost 10 years. This is the original uh, C920. The newer ones, mm. but anyway, uh, so flying high, which means Dreadnought can't shoot at him, Guardsman can't shoot at him during their phase. But that also means my Bloodthirster can't do combat because he's not on the battlefield. He's technically flying above it. Uh, Star Trekking across the universe. Okay, so they can't do shit, but he can't do shit either. Now, they do their turn, they, 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 they turn to go shoot at, at, at this Eldar Wraith Lord. Okay, and out of nowhere, I will say, and my, my bloodthirster is going to land here. Okay, and just like a teleporter homer for, for, for uh, uh, Terminators, but the exception of, I don't have to roll dice. I just tell them where he's landing. And then on, if it's on a difficult terrain, I roll a difficult terrain roll uh, and whatever. If not, he just goes, wonk. What's up, bitches? Now, if he, if I say I want to land on them, now you could use your, your, your demons as basically bombardment. You take that little CD size template, and it was always the size of a CD. I'm sorry, it was the size of a CD. You put it down, 
and then you roll to scatter. That's when you roll to scatter, okay? And wherever it lands, that's where he lands. And anything under that base takes a strength, whatever it was hit, for case point, their basic strength range. So if it was a demon prince, I believe it was strength six, and if it was a bloodthirster, it was strength eight. Blast. <laughs> You know, no AP, so they still get an AP save. Not that you, I don't think you'd want an AP save from a thing this size. Um, and so you could land, and then I could go, uh, my movement phase, I'm charging. And I go straight into combat and chop them all to pieces. Choppy, 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 choppy. And then it's like, oh no, Dreadnought! I can then go uh, 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 sweeping advance. Uh, I think that was what it was called, sweeping advance, something, something advance. Um, I should do it all the time with my Corn Berserkers. And then he'd go, rawr, straight into the Dreadnought before the Dreadnought even had a chance to shoot. So now the Dreadnought's in close combat with him. Bom, 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 next round. Doesn't mean, it doesn't stop the Eldar from going, ha ha, I can shoot you in the back. You know, because he could. But you get the point. You understand how the whole Fly High rule used to work. Well, they got rid of it. And so, when I see greater demons, like, like Bloodthirsters and whatnot like this, this is a, a Bloodthirster proxy, of course. Um, when I see bloodthirsters coming in without wings, you know, I just say to myself, that dude saved himself some time. I I know that, that the newer demon princes, which is what this guy is, they have their wings. Um, one for the looks, because I mean they look, they do look boss. Just saying, they do they do look pretty boss. Yeah, but most importantly, I'm not sure if they've added the fly high rules again because I haven't read any of the new coat uh, new new coat ball. We're on the verge of going from 9th edition to 10th edition. It's pointless in me even buying a codex because it's going to be obsolete. Um, I, I'm, I'm honestly better off just like trying to find it on, on Reddit or something and get my answer that way. Um, but that's the old tactics. This is why most of the demons I have in my personal armies now don't have wings. Um, since they got rid of the fly high rule, I just don't bother. I mean, I've, I, at one point I had a box full of just wings for dragons, de demon princes, uh, you name it. I, I I have looked at starting up other armies to get into the to the mind of like like I, I, I've I've thought about going Tyranid. Um, I've thought about I've done orcs. Orcs are just rah, 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 shoot shoot daki daki. Yeah, it, it's there, there's. You know, it, literally, an orc's mindset is: if it can have more guns, why doesn't it? That's pretty much it. It's very, very. And they, they, they're rushing in their thoughts. Ooh, da, da. That's pretty much all it is. Um, everyone keeps saying, "Oh, but the Valhalla and Ice Warriors are the Russians." No, their tactics are the same as every other guardsman. Orcs are truly the Russians of forty k. Um, Tyranids. Um, I tried a Tyranid army once before, um, and it was it just went horrible. It just went wrong horribly, horribly fast. Um, I have thought about doing a first generation Space Marines chapter and not Primera stuff. I, don't, I have tons of Primera Space Marines. I have an entire Soul Drinkers uh, a Space Marines, a uh, Primera Space Marines chapter. Um, that I am doing, which is mine. It's my 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 primary space marine chapter is the soul drinkers, and just because I just like the whole backstory of the soul drinkers, um, and that's I got a death guard army, an official death guard army. I've even got a Mortyrion right there that needs to be painted. Um, I've got tons of models I need to get done, um, but I've just been all over the place. Uh, so yeah, that's the fly high rule. That's all that sorted out now. Um, this other little pile of grey plastic we got here, ironically, there is not Primaris. These are not Primaris Marines. These are Firstborn. Um, these are Fallen. Fallen uh, Dark Angels. Uh, so, guess what? I am doing a custom sculpt of Scyther. Scyther! I'm doing a custom sculpt of Scyther. So, I'm doing Scyther and two of his associated bodyguards. And I like the Cypher Mini, the old one, where he's doing a whole, like, Neo from the Matrix pose with his two guns out. The new one where he's, like, trying to do, like, this weird pocket thing, and he's not sure what to do with his other arm. And, yeah. Um, not a big fan of that one. And that one came in the set with, 
uh, Reboot Gilliman, Cypher, oh god, was it Belisarius? It was either Belisarius, it was either Belisarius or the um, Custodes leader. Anyway, it uh, came in a kit, in a, in a set. Well, I'm not a fan of that model. I'm just not. So, I've, like I said, I've printed off some capes. Um, because Cypher always has extra capes and stuff, you know, because, you know, are we going to the opera? No, I don't think so. So, you know, why they need capes, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, capes! So, there you go. And I've got a backpack that I think is suitable for him. And when it comes to heads, I've, I've printed off three separate heads. Um, and I am going to be doing some custom sculpting. I'm going to be sculpting some hair. And I'm going to be sculpting the hoods. For these guys, um, I haven't really done much in the way of model sculpting in, in, oh god, shoot, it's been a while, last time I did any, any green stuffing, like proper sculpting, sculpting, I was still living in America, so that was five years, five years plus ago, so that should tell you something, so, uh, yeah, it's not like I've taken on a tough battle of like re sculpting Cypher. So, Cypher. Um, so, yeah, and so I've got a couple of different bodies that I like the look of. Um, and I am more leaning towards these two more than this one. So, that's him out. Uh, I do need the Dark Angels. Chapter badge and a non Dark Angels one. So that's those. Got his backpack, so that's those out the way. So I'm I'm literally down to like picking the last of his pieces. Um see this body's definitely in fact you know what, let me get some bases. Oh do 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 Yes, I even buy GW bases. Um, Ta da! Not the 28 mil, they're the 30, they're the 30 something mil. 30, 32. And so that's those. And the. No, again, I can't, so it's going to have to be whooper glue. Thyral acrylate, actually. But yes, I know what it's called. But everyone and their mother always refers to it as whooper glue. And if you don't refer it to it as whooper glue, you're not English. Yeah, I said it. Oh shit. Please tell me I just didn't break my trip back. Every time I try to do a video, some of the mind breaks. Oh, no. What? No. What the Charles Dickens? Get off. <clears throat> anyway. So I'm going to leave this body here for a few seconds. I did have some um, kicker, some super glue kicker, but it was horrible. It was just terrible. It never worked. Um, I mean, I would shake the fuck out of the can and spray it and follow all the instructions. Spray this and spray the piece, then put the super glue on and hold them together for two minutes. And like, then that's not a kicker, then, is it? You know, literally. This is this this is why people need to just like like why did you change the formula for super glue? It was fine just the way it was. Now we have to buy separate kickers and stuff to make sure that our super glue actually glues. Because stupid people can't read labels. Yeah, I said it. I don't care. <laughs> uh. 
in fact speaking of I actually realized I have a 54 millimeter Space Marine there you go there's Gabriel Seth 54 millimeter Gabriel Seth from the Flesh Terrors so I could in theory use him in Inquisitor uh, so yeah all right we're gonna let those dry stay there and dry you son of a bitch Right, and then that way I, I can pick which body I want to pose with, uh, what I don't want to pose with, things of that nature. Um. Oh, there we go, it's starting to come off. I was going to say, please don't be stuck on there, I'd be hella mad if you was. But it's not, so, yay. Yay and stuff, and stuff. Cool, so that's that done. And so now I can pick which I'll get I'll give it like another two or three minutes and then I can pick which cape I like. Um because Cypher does wear a cape. Um of course it's always good to have like reference material. So it's always good to have like reference material pictures up on, on a screen and whatnot, or a tablet that you can see, uh, read, and uh, enjoy kind of uh, thing. Uh, I personally, um, like I said, I, 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 when I'm paint when I was when I'm doing when I was doing um, this Owen Rommel burst, I um, I'm gonna move this up so you can see a little bit more of the desk. There we go. Uh, when I was doing this um, Owen Rommel burst, uh, I had a whole bunch of reference pitch, coloured reference pictures up on my monitor and that. So I knew I was getting the, sh the shadows and the shading right, and I even got his eyes the right colour. Uh, see, everyone assumes that Owen Rommel's eyes were actually um, brown. They weren't. They were blue. They were blue, blue slash grey, like mine. Um, and that was seen in various videos and pictures. So that's what I did, is I, I corrected his eyes. Uh, I've got some um, satin varnish that I can brush on, on the eyes to give the eyes a little bit of, bit of wetness. Uh, the front of the cap, of course, that's a hardened plastic, so that's gonna get a, a, a bit of that. The uh, eagle crest on the hat needs to get uh, done as well. Uh, what else needs to get done? Some highlights on the uh, shoulders so we got we do has we do have a fair bit of work. Same as on the cheeks. I've got to do a little bit more more bl wet blending on the face, and um, then he's good to go. Our Necron Lord is looking good. So that's awesome. So that's uh, okay. So we've got this body, and like I said, what I'm doing is in my head I'm 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 structuring the model in my head pose wise and what I tend to do again this is one of the reasons I think why a lot of people have posted uh, a blue tack slash post attack is because if you're like me you will just take a pinch and ball it up and then just put the model together with post attack and See the leg pose, the way the feet and the legs are posed is this shoulder, this left shoulder is forward. So I could do it where he's actually aiming his gun here. Let's see what I've got in my bits boxes. And I'm not even joking guys, I actually have a box full of like, like marine bits. These are all like 3D printed bits and stuff. Um, of course, that's an actual King's Workshop miniature bit. Uh, that's a Death Guard, that's a Power Fist. Uh, so, like I said, I, I, I've, I've got ways of. There's a fabulous bile gun there, cool. Um, I've got ways of actually just making. Oh, here you go, it's a Plague Marine belly. Can I actually make a Plague Marine if I want to? Uh, hats, helmets, things of that nature. I mean, that's a cool hat. That's Abaddon the Spoiler's hat. A uh, helmet, so I could like do an Abaddon kind of thing. Not that I want to do that because that's not what I'm doing. Um, 
Okay, so this one, that's a, we're holding a grenade in their hand. Okay, so that's a possible. Okay, that's a uh, Commissar's last pistol. My phone just orgasmed again. All right, so there we go. There's a there's a good off off arm that we can again rough you. This is just rough use, guys. This isn't the end. This isn't going to be the end product just yet. This is just me putting it into poses, putting the models into poses that I like or think I can use. Um, that's not including the shoulder pads because you know that would be too easy. Now this body, he's definitely leaning more forward, um, which you can see he's like doing a lunge forward. So let's see what do we have in here. Ooh, we actually do have some other bits and pieces. Uh, so I never, I never waste pretty much anything if I don't have to. Um, so like things like arms, backpacks, I mean there's that backpack to go with that death guard belly. So if I wanted, I've got enough bits in here to actually make an entire new death guard uh, so, uh, plague marine if I really want to. And I can, and 90% and of the time I do. I mean like, here's a Nurgling right there holding a grenade. <laughs> there you go, it's an actual 40k Nurgling. There you go, it's a good little fight. Uh, more chaos backpacks if I don't like the look of the, the one I've got for him because I know he is technically an old, more older uh, see that one that's the um, Cantor backpack uh, for Ishkan Cantor that I'm sculpting I don't know what. okay that's Fibulous Bile's Torment right there uh, so let's see I'm, like I said I'm just doing a quick scan a quick scan and a pan okay that's Chaos Sorcerer's 50, there's a 54 mil cow space marine sorcerer's head again for Inquisitor because again I, I like Inquisitor I was actually thinking about trying to revitalize it for my uh, for, for my uh, website so all right so so far we haven't found much that we think we can use other than a couple of arms but let's take a quick look okay, this is why I love keeping little boxes so if I, if I can't find anything that I want, I'm just going to bung it right back in here. I'm not looking for a base. Uh, bases can go away. I'm not looking for legs. They can go away. Uh, another Plague Marine's torso. What was that? Plague Marine torso. Heavy bolter. Guardsman. Guardsman. Uh, it's can going to a backpack. Another base. Ooh, another Nurgling. Cute. Uh, more noble slime stuff. Uh, I am looking for a better sword than the one that I have um, picked out to go on his back. There's a power axe. Not that he uses power weapons. I don't think it does. Huh. Did that fall off of my material? I think I did. Son of a bitch. So you, you never know, you might find there's a bolt gun right there. Uh, I'm gonna give that to the other guy. There we go. So it's always, it never hurts to, to look. Alright, so those can go, can go, can go, can go, can go, there's an arm, there's an arm. It's always good to keep extra arms. There's actually a sword, even better. There we go. Can go back and go. Goku. <laughs> there's a that's a nice this is a bit too big for getting question for like the master of the was it something of the watch? There we go, that's a plasma gun right there. Keep that. Scratch with that, giggity giggity. More that's a heavy bolt gun. Oh. Let's see, that's another arm right there. Death Guard. And like I said guys, it's I tend to just look around, see what I've got. Um 
Sometimes, you know, if there's a bolt pistol, not I expect the same arm as a plasma gun. Shoot. We'll keep it though, just on the off chance. Is that a chainsaw? It's a chainsaw. Thousand sons head. <laughs> Tell me you're a miniature miniature war gamer without telling me you're a miniature war gamer. <laughs> right, so most of this stuff we can't use. Although that is a tube that belongs on my Mortarian model. For some reason that's fell off as well. So we'll put that back on. So like I said, I don't need bits boxes. I've got tons of bits. I 3D print bits. <laughs> uh, one of the things I love doing is 3D printing bits that I don't... Ah, there we go. There's another bolt pistol. Is uh, 3D printing bits that I don't have. Um, case in point, I, I don't like the Fugulous Bile miniature that GW's put out. Um, and I really haven't found a nice after model that I like either. So, you know, I'm going to keep looking, but uh, here's what it is. Uh, okay, so this bolt gun, we can actually give to this guy. Or, better yet, because uh, it's actually strapped onto a plane. Yeah, so we can actually do something like that. If I remember correctly, this one's a plasma arm, so it's his left, it's his right as a plasma. So this actually is a really good one. This one actually fit him for. Uh, But we also haven't added our cape that I've, I've liked yet, so let's take his backpack off for now. Actually, I might use this one because it looks like it's yeah. This one looks like it's gonna one flow a lot more easier. So. Like I said, guys, this this isn't an easy thing. Um, and this isn't even for me, this is actually for someone else. I'm doing all of this for actually, for actually someone else. Um, and if I like it, I will make myself another one, but I won't say make it better, but I'll make myself another one. Okay, so there we go. So this, that's where we're at. But now I've got to pick a head. some modifying to work with this body but that's what green stuff's for get a rough idea of what I'm doing. I'm actually waiting on a big delivery of miniature bits, so uh, modeling bits. Uh, I ordered a new Dremel, a battery powered Dremel, 
because in the last video as you guys saw the other one went tits up on me So, something like that is what I'm picturing in my head. Um, I'm going to have the plasma, his plasma pistol in this hand here, hood, hair, and I'm going to custom sculpt the um, uh, sacri uh, the skeletal sacrifice that's on his chest as well. So that's going to get green stuffed. So pistol's going to get green stuffed. Uh, uh, plasma pistol's right here. But it's in the wrong hand. You know what? Give me a second. Right, let me get my clippers. Okay. 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 Do -do 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 -do. Okay. Okay. Down and out on the radio. Right. So I'm going to clip it away from the wrist. He's already got a hand on there, so I can actually like so, and then put his plasma pistol in that hand like that. Yeah, that. That I think will actually work, and then I'll green stuff the robe, his hair, or some of it, some hair, like some of his long hair, the um, uh, crucified skeleton across his back, and then I've got to find a really good sword that I'm gonna put across his back, maybe with some um, modeling chain. Um, we're going to green stuff up his left arm so I can actually pose his bolt gun pistol arm a little bit further back. Uh, it's got to have the Dark Angels shoulder pad because that's one of the reasons why the um, Dark Angels really fucking hate Cypher is the fact that he will not get rid of his Dark Angels shoulder pad. Um, Something like this. <clears throat> yeah, something like that, I think. Yeah, something like that. I may have to 3D print a new plasma because oh, that's fine if I do, I do. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. No, I am. I'm not liking the way it's sitting in his hand as it is. But there we go. Cypher just needs to get himself uh, a hood or even a hooded head. Uh, I'll, I'll look around on what I can find on Colts and a few other websites. Um, but yeah, that's the next custom, technically custom sculpt I'm going to be doing is a uh, Cypher. Uh, the Fallen of the Dark Angels um, so yeah and then hopefully uh, when we get back uh, Necron's going to be undercoated um, the kill team's going to be uh, undercoated Dreadnought old school Space Space Hulk uh, uh, Space Hulk Space is it Space Quest? No Space Hulk Space Crusade, yeah, Space Hulk and Space Crusade. That was the uh, expansion where you got Dreadnoughts. This is the Chaos Dreadnought variant. I've got a uh, Space Marine Dreadnought variant as well. So, oh, it's beautiful, beautiful print. Took me like five and a half hours to print. Really good print. Really, really good print. All right, guys, I'm gonna end this video here. So, uh, yeah. I'll see you when I get it uploaded and done editing.